What is up everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Fitted Land. We are back with another unboxing, but today it's a little different, y'all. All right? I'm gonna give y'all the insights also, okay? We have an unboxing from Toppers. I had to save this for a rainy day. Today, actually, no pun intended, it's a rainy day. I woke up to thunder and lightning and rain and but I saved this fitter for a rainy day and we're here to unbox this baby for y'all. But like I said, today's a little different. Alright. As the thumbnail states, the title, How to Get Toppers and Overseas Hats to the US. Okay. We all miss toppers. We can't just go on to toppers and start ordering. Which sucks. Which sucks, but um Here's the number one hint. Use a reshipper. There's a company called Reshipper already that you can just look it up. Make an account with Reshipper and get all your toppers, goodies. I've seen people on Facebook using this method and getting hats from toppers. All you got to do is just make an account with Reshipper and pretty much... Uh, I guess toppers ships to the reshipper and then the reshipper ships to you for a little fee. Um, right off the back, I don't know the fee. Uh, myself, I probably won't be doing this method. As y'all know me, I get steals and deals in eBay. That's another hit. If you still want toppers, go to eBay and search toppers on your size. And you're going to see a bunch of hats. Um, some that are still cheap. Some that people try to scalp, but don't fall for the hype. Like I said, don't fall for the hype. I have a ton of hats coming. Actually, today, maybe six, anywhere from six to ten hats today. All right. And this is from Facebook groups. Another hint. Boom. I'm just dropping gems. Join Facebook groups to get these hats. Like, sources are out there. That's all I got to say. If you want toppers, you're still going to be able to get toppers. I just gave you the three options right there. All right. But this one happened to be sitting with me for a little while. Like I said, for a rainy day. And I decided to pull this out because fall is right around the corner. And I'm going to be using this very soon. So might as well unbox it. I still got like two or three unboxings over there. We're going to keep on pushing heat in this channel. I might as well give me the title right now as the unboxing god. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just unbox and show goodies in this channel. So if you like that, make sure I subscribe, like the video, leave some comments, turn on that post notification on while you at it so you get notified every time I drop a banger, y'all. Y'all don't want to miss it, and we're going to get right into it. Let's get it. All right, toppers. Um, I happened to purchase this right before they put that law, or whatever you want to call it, where toppers couldn't ship over here, fan cap couldn't ship over here, just fitted couldn't ship over here anymore, and I managed to squeeze this one in, and we are here. Alright, let's get right into it. How's everybody's Monday going so far? Well, we got a baseball card over here. John Wetland. John Wetland. I don't know who you are. Uh, I'm probably not going to use this. But uh, there we go. Looks like an older style baseball card. But uh, that's that. Now, let's get into the hat. Oh! Wow. That's all I got to say. This hat is beautiful in hand. It's about that time that I get this side patch in particular in my collection. I don't have none yet. Hopefully I can get my hands in more. Supposedly they're banning this patch. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, the details are crazy. All right. Which one from Toppers? Bang. LA Dodgers. Two-tone. Y'all already know we go two-tone crazy in this channel. 
Most of my heads are two tones. That's what I like to go with. There it is. A beautiful, beautiful hat. You get like that maroon fitted with a brown brim on this bad boy right here. Getting ready and gearing up for that fall. Let me know how many of y'all are ready for the fall and the neutral colors. Let me know. Brown button to match the brim. Yeah, this could go as a flat tonal. Flat tonal flag, new era on that baby. All right. The bottom, the UV, we got like this gold, orange, almost leaning to rust to match the logo on top. Type of vibe going. Check it out. It's like that gold orange type of vibe. Same with the logo LA. I like that LA. This is probably one of my favorite LA front logos right here. Um, I feel like it's vintage. It looks vintage. I like the style of the lettering here. And hopefully I can get some more also with this lettering. I don't have a lot of Dodgers in my collection. All right. Come on, man. I don't like this already. If I could change one thing from this hat, it'll be this. Before we get into the bottom and the side patch, I do not like raised baddie. And <laughs> this one has a raised baddie. And not too much going on for it. It's just burgundy and same color as this. Check it out. Eh. Eh. How do y'all feel? I don't think I've asked this in my channel. How do y'all feel about raised baddies? Do y'all like raised baddies? Oh yeah, a flat baddie type of person. Me, I'm a flat baddie. Simple, straight to the point, clean, nothing too much going on for it. My thing with the race baddies are, that look messed up. They just look messed up. The baddie looks fat. The bat itself looks deformed. The person looks fat. I oh, don't know, man. Check it out. Are y'all feeling that? Not a fan of race baddies, but that's all right. We'll sacrifice it for this beautiful hat. We have white guts. Seven and three eighths. My size, not your size. New era flag, Bangladesh. We got a Bangladesh. Two videos in a row. We got a Bangladesh. Cooperstown collection, white guts on this bad boy. And uh, it's a beautiful hat. It's a beautiful hat. Side patch. My first Coliseum side patch from the Dodgers. First home, Los Angeles, Dodgers. Uh, 1958 to 1961. You got the details on this bad boy. You got the oranges. You got the white. Yeah, that's white. Uh, what else we got? We got the Olympic rings on this bad boy. Looking clean and mean. Check it out. How many of y'all are fans of the Coliseum side patch? Um, I sacrificed that ugly baddie just for that right there. Beautiful, beautiful side patch. Also, a side patch that people tend to just go crazy for and hike up the prices, which I don't get. Um, but to each his own, get your money. Pretty soon here, we're going to be doing my second what not auction. Um, I'm going to be doing a crazy video. I'm going to be doing a crazy video here soon of unboxings. And uh, all of those are going to be for the what not. So stick around for that video. That's going to be happening here very soon. Once again, I appreciate everybody that tunes in every time I upload. It means a lot to me. And uh, I'm just trying to keep the uh, community alive for hats. You know what I'm saying? Let's give this fitted a nice little sort of curve. And we're going to take it to the dome one time for y'all. All right. Nothing crazy. Do y'all have this hat in your collection? I want to know. Are y'all on the hunt? Check out eBay, like I said. Giving y'all pointers every time on this channel. All right. Nice little sort of curve. Nothing crazy. I'm going to take it to the dome. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Let me see one thing here real quick. 
Oh, okay, I'm tripping. Actually, am I? Do that logo look crooked to y'all? Or is it the brim? You know what? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Ha! I'm tripping. Maybe the logo too tall or something. It looks like it's crooked a little bit. I don't know. Let me know. Check out that side patch. Boom, bang. Huge fan of the fit. I love the fit right off the back. I feel like I'm an L.A. native <laughs> wearing this hat. You feel me? But damn, this fit is clean. High crown, Bangladesh. Y'all know how we do. Let me know. Boom. There y'all go. I appreciate everybody that comes in and check out my videos all the time. It means a lot. Stay positive and good vibes. Huge things coming soon. I have pins on the way. Well, not on the way. I'm tripping. I have pins in the making. Two in particular that I already got the mock-up for. All you got to do is just boom, bomb, hit it to the company so they can make it. And we're going to have some pins here soon. I still have a couple left on my website from the first drop. Once those sell out, I probably won't restock it. My first pin, as y'all know, right here. Fiddle, ooh, them diamonds dancing on it. Fiddleland with the Indian's eye. Still on the website. You can shop that at fiddleland.myshopify.com. Don't miss out on this pin. It's a beautiful pin. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one, y'all. Y'all have a good one.